Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. You see, identity drives us. Identity drives motivation. Motivation drives action, and action drives results. For example, if someone speeds past me at 90 miles an hour on the highway, odds are I won't chase them down and issue a ticket. I don't have an identity that says I'm a police officer, so I have no motivation to act. A police officer, on the other hand, does have the identity and therefore has the motivation to take action, chasing down the speeder and getting results, which is issuing a ticket. Every action we take in life has a sense of identity behind it. How we see ourselves matters. See, growing up on a cattle farm in Arkansas, I had the identity of being a kid from the country. When we need groceries, we called it going to town. I was a son, a brother, and a friend. As I've gotten older, I have found my identity change in so many ways. Now, as a husband, father, and friend, and even as a pastor, but one identity has never changed. One thing that remains constant in my life is who I am in Christ. See, Ephesians 2.10 says this, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. See, I recently built a stand-up desk for my office. I wanted a desk that I could stand up at and work and you know hold all my books in the bookcase. It was a process, but I'm almost there. You see, I created something the exact way I needed it to be in order for it to meet the purpose I had for it. See, I could have easily gone online and bought something similar to every other desk out there and it would have worked, but it would not have been unique and able to meet the exact need and purpose that I was wanting in a desk. In the same way, we are uniquely made by God to fulfill a purpose here on earth. He could have pumped out a bunch of clones but he had a purpose and identity just for you. See, my identity, my purpose and calling is not yours and yours is not mine. Know who you are in Christ and walk in security of being created uniquely to be you. See, I cannot reach the people that you reach. We each have a sphere of influence that is completely unique to each of us. Let your identity motivate you into action and produce results that God has called you to. Today, believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God and are called according to His purpose.